to the sandwich generation where you and I are stuck in the middle between our kids and grandkids and our parents and our grandparents and we're just trying to make it okay for everyone. And today we're going to talk about a piece of our senior generation that has a really tough time making it okay for them. We're going to talk about what if your loved one has dementia and how to meet them where they are to set them up for success. I've been in the business a really long time and I have watched how dementia care has morphed and developed into different things over different seasons and I remember a time where all that dementia care meant was that you put them on a high floor in a high rise so that they can't get out and that's all really dementia care was is just to make sure they didn't run off and to flock them all together so they didn't bug the rest of the residents. And I'm so glad to say that it's not like that anymore. We've also gone through a period of time where we've given them children's play toys to play with. A lot of families found that really disturbing because when you look at it for your loved one, you say, this is a grown man. Why are you giving him a toy to play with? But a lot of that is because they need fidgety things in their lives. They need things to hold on to and do things with when they're in that latter end of dementia. And so we found other ways to take care of that too. And the most recent is my favorite way of dealing with dementia that I've seen thus far. And that is to meet them where they are. You know, just a few years ago even, we were spending a lot of time and effort making sure that they knew every day what day is it, what time is it, what time of year is it, it's time to do this, it's time to do that, making sure they know who you were, making sure they're oriented times three is what we say in the business. And the thing about that is people with dementia find that stressful. I know that on our end, when we don't have dementia, we find it stressful to watch them not know where they are and not know us and things like that. But if we're really caring for someone with dementia, we need to think about their needs first. And their need is to be where they are. And so if they wake up and they think they're seven years old and they're looking for their mom or they're looking for their bicycle or whatever, why not just roll with that and make it okay for them? Why do we have to get in their face wagging our finger and say, that's not right, you're not a kid, your mom's been dead for 50 years. That's stressful for them to hear. So whatever land they wake up in that day, no matter what age they think they are, wouldn't it be kinder just to roll with it? If they say, you know, I'm looking for my son and I've got to go find him because I've got to pay these bills. You know, the son's been dead for five years. They don't remember that. Why would you hurt them by bringing that up again? Why would you hurt that by making them relive that again? If you look at it that way, if you can just change your mindset a little bit, you know, dementia is stressful for everyone. If you know a person who's kind of in the earliest stages of dementia, you can see the stress and the pain on their face. And when they come to you 50 times a day and ask you the same question, you can see their furrowed brow and they're so stressed because they know that they can't remember. But if you can get a way to redirect them in those times, and especially when they're a little further along in the disease process and they don't remember what they don't remember, you know, at those times, wouldn't it be kinder to just play along? If they think that you're their niece, that's okay. It's not like they're going to think you're their niece forever. It's, you know, whatever you do in dementia, it's not going to be forever. And so play along, be gentle, be kind. And I'll give you one parting tip on that too. No matter where they are in their dementia, but double especially at the beginning when they're extra stressed, if they argue with you, don't argue back. If you're saying we have to go do this thing and they're arguing with you, 
Find a way to redirect. If you argue with someone with dementia, you are just spinning your wheels and making yourself more stressed out. So I hope that gives you just a few little tips on how to meet them where they are. I know it is such a stressful time for you if you have someone with this disease. It's an awful thing. I know somebody who's had it. I've had people in my family who's had it. I understand. So let's just stop and take a breath. Let's think it through. If you have any questions whatsoever, if you need advice for senior living or how to deal with someone with dementia, my information is in the description below. Please give me a call, send me an email. I'm here to help no matter where you are in your life. Thanks for watching today.